Hello YouTube, what's up? My name is Chicken Fried Rice, and today we are going to be playing some Battlefield 3. You know, this is uh, me joining uh, fairly late into a game of Wake's Island on Battlefield 3. Wake's Island is one of the original Battlefield 2 maps. Actually, Battlefield 9 is one of 2 maps transferred to Battlefield 2, transferred to Battlefield 3. So, um, this game, I'm going to be using the uh, sniper rifle. And uh, I'm not the greatest with the sniper rifle, but I don't do that bad. So if you have this whole entire video, I am going to stay alive pretty much the whole entire video, and then I'm going to die at the end, right before my two minutes, which is awesome. Spoiler alert, I know I'm always slow with those, but I'm just telling you guys. So, even though I don't get that many kills, you'll notice that on Wake's Island, it's mainly an infantry game, even if you have tanks and uh, other things, because the island is so... Um, is uh, has large inclinations on both sides so it allows infantry to be out of the tank's range fairly easily because the tank goes on one side then it can go on the other and it's very easy to screw up tanks on this uh well map and i love this map this map this is why this map is in the back to car can dlc because it is simply just amazing i love it and um me and my sniper rifle here are doing that, and uh, right here we're going to sh- oh, shit, right here, but you notice me, um, almost second nature, because I'm not a very good sniper, and so I've been trying to get better by playing sniper rifle, but I only have the SV-98, uh, which is not the best sniper, it's not a one-shot kill guaranteed, so every time, after every single shot I fire, you notice I always pull out my pistol almost because I want to make sure I kill the guy or if I completely miss I can kill the guy before he kills me. Unless it's a range shot like this, like look at that. That was a miss. And oh kill. Well that's unfortunate for him. He just got shot in the back. Just got shit screwed up. But you'll notice that um our team only had two uh, points at the beginning of the game. And we're gonna, just going to move like a giant infantry wall, and we're just going to move across the map and just keep pushing. And that's really the good thing, because we don't allow them just to bunch up too much and create sort of a defensive line. And right here, gonna you've been witnessing just a little bit of lag. That's fine. That happens, you know. Nobody's internet is perfect, but even then, I would just hope, look at this guy. Ooh, look at that guy. So I'm going to move up in a few seconds, and uh, I'm going to get a bit of action. There's going to be a bunch of people behind me up. And you'll notice, right now, I'm not moving up, because especially when you're playing as a sniper, I don't mind the but when I'm playing as a sniper, I do not want to be the first guy in front. I usually wait for like, the tank. Like, I see the tank moving up, and I'm like, okay, that means I'm clear to move up in that area. Ish. I, oh, I don't like going up for by myself. Because I got a feeling that, which happens often when I do that, I just get shot in the back, which is unfortunately not very pleasant. But right here, I get myself in a really nice location. Throw that grenade there, and boom, hit marker. Ah, uh, you gotta love the hit markers with this rifle. This V98 has such a great tendency of getting them. So, um, let's see. No one seems to be wanting to come and join my party. And that guy, although I miss, you notice I pull out my pistol. And uh, that took care of the problem, uh, problem pretty well. Now, the only thing with my pistol is that I have a flashlight on it, so whenever someone looks at me and tries to shoot at me, all they see is a big light in their face telling me they're about to die. Because I don't know why. And I possess that power. It's the blinding light before you die. So, oh, got a hit marker on that guy, too. Actually, I didn't. That was my ally shooting at him. It's because I saw blood squirt. I was like, you just got a hit marker. But actually, I did not. So, in the meantime, we're just going to move up slow and steady, and that's all really I do this game, is I move up slow and steady while picking off people here and there, trying not to get myself too exposed, but I'm also not being the old sniper that shoots across, like, I've played games on Wake Island, actually, every game I play on Wake Island, there's always a few snipers that uh, pretty much camp on one side of the island where A is, and they shoot across the island over the water to where D or E is. And 
for them, it's really good because they're like retardedly good at long range combat. But I'm more of a close range sniper, as you've seen. I'm <coughs> sorry about that. Throat's a little dry. I'm not a very good quick scoper, but um, I can get my shots on target. I'm not at the high speed of a quick scoper, but I can definitely, you know, get my gun in there and fast. Now here, what I do. Um, I'm just going to walk up here slowly, but one of the things I do, now this is one of the best things uh, you can do, now I did not do it in the best of way, I could have done it so much better, and it could have turned out so much better, but before we even capture the base, I grab the jeep, and while well, their whole entire team is respawning, I drive towards the next point, and what's going to happen is they want to take back that point that they just lost, so... Just give me a minute, I gotta roll over my cage because, yeah, I really don't know how to dress. So, go here, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and put myself there, and I'm just gonna wait for their ones to cross them. You know, if I would have had a different class, it would have been amazing because there are two options I could have had from this position here. I'm just gonna wait for their lines to cross me, which is what you'd want to do. Two things you can do either stand up and shoot them all in the back or go and start capping the base which causes them to fall back to retake their base and then your all your allies move in so you got two options and uh, right here I'm just like this and I decide that I see a the boat and I'm going to try and snipe it which is really a stupid thing because the guy's going to hear me for sure and I honestly know that I'm not going to be able to hit that boat so this guy's going to come over the hill he's going to be his little look at this he has his god light, and boom, I could not see anything, that blinding light before you die. And that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys all 